In our last tutorial, we built our player. We got our floor here for collision purposes. So our player doesn't fall straight through the floor. And then we have an image here to um, give us something to walk on. So, visually. So with that being said, let's go ahead and actually name these real quick. So let's rename that. We're gonna name that floor. Since GDevelop refers to um, our collision as floor, and then we're going to go to new object. Let's just rename this as uh, we'll just put level graphics. Whoops, can't spell. How about that? Forgot about that. You cannot put any spaces in these names, so we'll just put level and then lowercase graphics. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. So now that we've got everything properly named, good habit to form by the way, uh, let's talk about our camera. So if we hit play right now, um, we have a scene here and we can move around pretty nicely and everything looks good, but uh, it's kind of static. So what we need to do to create a camera, we're actually just going to close that and then we're going to hit add other for group. And we're going to name this, whoops, camera. Right click, and then here you can hit add sub event, and that automatically nests the next event underneath whatever it is that you have on top of it. Pretty nice, nice little trick. Okay, so what we want to do is to make sure that the camera is always following the player. So in this case, there are a couple different ways you can do it. If you wanted to create a really stiff camera, then you can hit center, and you can hit center the camera on an object, select the player, and um, we can leave everything as default here. Uh, nothing special, and what will happen is uh, as you move, the camera will follow you, and that's nice. I mean, it's all right, nothing special. Uh, but if you want a camera that's a little bit more lively, then what we'll do is we'll actually go ahead and open this back up. And then we're going to go back to camera center exposition. You can find this underneath the group of layers and cameras. We're going to set the operator to equals. And the value is going to be, let's do, let's do lerp. And I'll explain what that is here in a second. Let's see here. Camera exposition first. Camera. And then we're going to do X, and then the layer, the base layer is, is just quotations. And then we're going to hit comma, and then the number is zero, because the camera is zero by default. Comma again. Now paste the player X, comma, and then we're going to do uh, by, let's do zero, five. That's fine seal it off with parentheses. So what we just did here is we told the computer, hey, the lerp function, which by the way interpolates digits, numbers, so let's say if you're doing, uh, you're going from 1 to 5, then you would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you would do that at intervals of 0 0.05. So um, the smaller the number, the more smooth the movement the larger the number, the more jagged and quick the uh, movement will be, which was what we have with the original center the camera on the object um, <clears throat> function. So, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave that on base, and we're gonna hit OK. So, if we do that, now we get a pretty nice fluid camera. Now, if you guys see an issue here, when we're running, we can get to the very end of the camera and if the player is playing the game they can run into things that way so what we want to do is we actually want to create separate events for the camera to act on so in this case uh, this camera would be let's hit add other comment and we're going to put left here and then we're going to hit add other and we're going to drag that underneath we're going to type in r for right and then we're going to hit add new event below. You can't by the you cannot nest comments. 
I'm sorry, events underneath comments. You cannot do that, so um, don't hurt yourself trying to do that. Now we're going to actually copy this, paste here. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to actually create a little bit extra space in between the left or right hand side of the camera while the player is moving. So what we want to do is we're going to do the camera X. Now you can see all this math here. We're going to go ahead and hit uh, plus. So now if we do plus five, we run to the right. You still get a nice movement, but you don't get to where you can't see what's about to come to the player. And here we're going to actually do minus five. And by the way, if you notice, you see how on either side it's uneven now, even though the numbers are the same? Well, this is why. So if we go to the scene in the player, and we go down to edit points, so the origin is located at the very top left of all animations originally. 24, it looks like a pretty, actually, you know what, that looks like 25. Let's do 25 and 25, close enough. And then we'll hit close, apply. I did that too fast, let me show you that one more time, guys. So, edit points, and if we just zoom in here, you can see our origin is now right here. We can actually, by the way, um, going down in digits is equivalent to going up on the y-axis. So if we hit down, it's gonna go up. If we hit up, it goes down. So keep that in mind. Hit close and apply. And now when we, uh, when our camera focuses on the player, it's gonna focus on the origin point in the middle of the sprite instead of on the upper left-hand corner. And now you see we have this nice uh, negative space between the player and the camera itself. So, uh, general rule of thumb, always make sure that your origin point is actually in the middle, in the center of your sprite. Uh, it usually helps quite a bit. So, uh, with that being said, let's test this too. So if we jump, nothing happens. If you want the player to uh, affect the camera when he jumps, you can do that. So go to New Scene, Events, and let's go ahead and hit Comment here. We're going to drop that down. We're going to just type in Y. We're going to copy this event, and then we're going to paste it, throw it down here, and then we'll just put Center on the Y, and then change everything that was X to Y. When you do that, plus five, so that's actually going to take the camera down a little bit from where it was hanging out before. You see how it's further down here? I just wanted to show you guys what that looked like. So we're going to get rid of that because we just want to center the player normally. There you go, you get this nice fluid camera. So. Uh, that's pretty much it as far as uh, platformer cameras go. If you guys have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, if, you found any, if you found any value in this video at all, please like and subscribe for more videos in the future. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.